two, and one. Good job. Well done. We're almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Sorry, we are there. We are there. Good job. Mm. Hey, what a long day. So I had a typical, typical carrot that I decided to do my baggage today. And oh my goodness, when I mean nuts, it was insane. My bag was overweight, and I charged like a, nearly like 200 quid. That took ages to get done. She charged me twice. So wait, yeah, it's like over 400 quid out of my account. And then um, I get to the gate saying that I'm pretty much late. And so they're saying that I need to be escorted through. I have to go back, get them to escort me through. And boy, this is taking forever, man. I don't know why it's crazy and when it comes to me flying it's always crazy to america but boy i gotta get it done man i gotta get this flight we're running now this is this is literally like boy i can't even speak <laughs> this is literally like being on some stupid movie stupid tv show i am so damn tired boy we're running we're running we're not running we're fast walking, let's go, let's go, let's go. Every single time I come to Chicago, I'm in the same place at the same time. So, I've obviously got to Chicago. Ah, Border Patrol took forever. If you watch my other video and I got sent back, it still shows up in my file. So I had to go for Border Patrol. Waited there for a little bit, it was quite a while, maybe an hour. Next thing you know, I've missed my flight. So, ah, I've got to obviously wait. People, it's, it's long, I'm tired, man. Uh, now I need to see what my situation is because someone can pick me up from the airport now it's going to be a much later so I need to see what the plan is we improvise, we move and we keep moving forward because this is oh. got here I'm in terminal one boy when I mean I'm tired boy this is nuts like this isn't easy getting to America it's not been easy I always every single time there's always something that just makes something happen in it so wait we're here now just wait and see where it takes us next but we stay positive man we can't get upset now we just keep moving and see what takes us next man so another update basically I've been told that <laughs> I've got to stay overnight, so I've got to get either a hotel in Chicago or a hotel in Houston. So as United said, it wasn't a fault of theirs, it was a fault of Borders and Customs Patrol. They're not willing to pay for the flights. Well, not, not willing to pay for that. They're not willing to pay for the hotel. So I've got to get my own hotel, basically, um, for the night. I'm just tired, man. This is it's a long day. So need to let them sort it out. Um, and so I'm just going to have a walk to Hilton, see how much they're charging, I'm going to have a look at a couple of hotels and then try and get the best sort of flight. I'm probably going to stay in Chicago tonight, going to Houston just seems so long. Then I was talking something stupid, like I'd have to wait until like 9pm, which is like 5 hours, 6 hours for my flight, so I'm just going to chill and have a look around. Man. Boom, I finally now decided that the best option for me is to go to the Sheraton Hotel in Chicago, so we're just going to do a night here. As soon as I get down, I'm gonna get some food. I'm just gonna knock out. But um, yeah, then I got a flight at 11 a.m. So it's a busy, busy day. Busy, busy day. A lot of things to get done. Hey man, the way I look at life, it could always be worse.
Jeez, this ain't too bad, you know. Wow, hey, this room's bigger than I. This is better than I thought. Oi, they got me living. Oi, where the hell's my life, bro? Damn. Damn, bro. What you saying, bro? What you saying, bro? Aye, I'm tired, man. This bed is gonna be. Aye, yeah. I'm sleeping this hell. Right. Boy, this is lovely, man. This is lovely. This is so lovely. Brother, but my food is finally here. Cause it's little baby right here, man. Oh, it's little baby right here, looking all nice, man. Let's go. Hey, man, it's been a crazy day. Oh, there's no better way to end this with something like some decent food, man. Cause I'm so hungry, bro. I'm so hungry. Ready, mom? Let's go. Stop it. Get some help. I am, bro. <sighs> I'm gonna stop being right. But, oh my goodness, when I mean this food is gonna go on a tree, I'm so hungry. So, let me just get some foods. And let me enjoy something out of this shram. Yeah, uh, yeah, shut. Let me enjoy something out of this shambles of a day, because this has been horrendous. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Hey, but for real though, Americans are so extra. Hey, this. Wow. Wow. Hey, I, I ain't even doing a promo thing, but oh my goodness. Hey, this Pepsi mango looks like it's gonna be so damn good, bro. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be delicious. Anything that I can learn, I will have learned from this situation, guys. Make the most out of bad situations. You know, so many times we get into these situations, everyone's a bit upset. There's emotions flying. You know, we get so upset, but it's like, please, let's take a step back and relax. Take it easy, because you never know. You can make a good situation out of a bad one. I've had such a crazy, crazy couple of hours. But something that could have been a nightmare. We're relaxed. We're not stressed, and we've. You know, I've managed to get this beautiful hotel. You can even see here, look at this. Ooh, yeah. I got this hotel for literally $80, which is like 57 quid. Like, you know, could have been worse, could have been crazy, but people, stay positive always.